That's good. If you got that at a restaurant at the end of your meal, you'd be happy. You'd be happier if it came with a molasses cookie, but you'd be happy. Mm. Hey, welcome to Haphazard Homestead. I'm glad you're here. How did I make this wonderful angelic treat? I started by harvesting the sour seed heads of a sumac bush at the end of last summer. Then I dried those seed heads and stored them away. It's not hard and is really worth doing. I'll post a video about that pretty soon. Then, when I wanted some sorbet, I got my ingredients together. There's only three. One is honey from here on the homestead. I've had this jar for years and the honey has crystallized, but it's still good. I got a couple of the big dried sumac seed heads and I went and foraged some spearmint growing in the grass. I broke down the seed heads into smaller pieces and saved the center stalks for my compost pile. I boiled some water and poured it over the little seed heads, enough to cover them up. I stirred it all around for a while with a wooden spoon and added in the spearmint. The little hairs on the sumac seeds are really acidic, so I don't want to use a metal spoon or a metal bowl to soak it all in. It sure is nice to see the water take on a pretty red color. I let it all sit until it was cool, then I strained the seed heads out to put in the compost pile. But those little seed heads still have some worthwhile flavor. Those still taste nice, mm. but it's not near so sour. <laughs> Suck on that. Don't eat those seeds, spit them out. Very pleasant though. I poured the strained sumac aid back into my bowl, but I did it slowly so any of the little hairs or other tiny debris would stay settled on the bottom. I was going to put that in my compost pile too. Maybe I'll drink it. Mm. Oh man, that's good. That's sour. Oh yeah, that's sour. I needed to add that honey. I put a little of the sumac aid into my stainless steel pan and added about one third cup of the honey. I heated all that on the stove just enough to liquefy the honey. Then I poured all that back in with the rest and stirred it up. Now it was time to bring in the heavy equipment. That's right, the little half pint ice cream maker with the metal insert that stays in my freezer. It's the same setup I use for my spruce tree sorbet, except I finally found the stirring handle. I stirred it and stirred it until it was all frozen. I did put it in the freezer for a while too because I get tired of stirring. But then it was done and I poured it into a little bowl. I put some sprigs of spearmint on the side and then, huh, oh yeah. Let's just try that. That's cold. Oh, that's so good. That's cold, but it is so good. Mm. It's a pink lemonade ice. It's like a snow cone. That's good. So good. I hope you get to try some sumac sorbet sometime. I hope things are going well at your place too. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and you can share it if you want to. If this is your first time here at Haphazard Homestead, I hope you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Highly recommended.